Ah, hey guys, John Moon here. Welcome to Stock Market's podcast. Hope you're having the coolest day ever because it's Monday. And I'm so used to doing that intro. It's so, so crazy. But today I have something that's um, kind of really, really important and kind of crucial that I'm super, super excited to talk to you about. And it's this idea um, of, of finding those those couple of things that you really like to do or just um, a, a, a category of things you really like to do that you can completely focus on and then sort of change your perspective on. Uh, by ignoring other things or other distractions that might not actually get you the same amount of fulfillment that you can get focusing on something that you really, really are passionate about. So I'm super excited to talk to you about this. I will see you guys after the intro. So the big question is this. How do investors like us who don't have a PhD in finance or millions to start investing, how do we grow our bank accounts to build real savings and retirements and yet still have the time to do what we really love? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answer. Awesome. All right. I am pumped. Today is the day. It is super exciting. Um, we're actually on a ski trip right now, which is like, oh my God, so phenomenal. Um, I don't know if I've talked to you guys about this, but um, Bill Gates, every single year for two weeks, he, he gets up, gets a journal, he gets a pen, and he gets some food, and he goes into the woods for two weeks. And he does nothing but write. And I just think it's so critical, so foundational that you have like that one thing that you can do that allows you to reset. You know, sometimes it's a sport. Sometimes, you know, for me, it's skiing. Like skiing is just oh, so phenomenal. Um, but sometimes, you know, it's just getaway. I don't know. It depends on the person. And it, but it's so critical. That, like once here, you have that ability to reset your mind, not just on like one day, um, you know, reflection days, but on like an overarching two ish week trip. Um, so anyway, I was super, super pumped about that, and hopefully you guys can take that and apply that. But um, what I really, really want to talk to you guys about today is something that actually kind of just happened. So um, for some reason, I've really, 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 really uh, been getting into the Fast and Furious movies lately because I'd, like, never seen them. I saw, like, the la- the latest one, and, like, oh, it was just so good. And so now I'm, like, watching all of them. <laughs> and so I watched a couple on the flight here because um, it's, like, forever long. And... And one the other day with family. And so this tonight, like, I really, 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 really wanted to watch um, the fifth one and, and, like, the seventh one. And, you know, for me, like, that brought me so much, so much, so much, like, an insane, insane amount of joy doing that. And it was just so powerful, so fulfilling. And, like, honestly, was, like, there was nothing else that I would rather have done um, than watch those two movies. It was, like, so much fun. Holy crap. Um, just uh, so good. And so... Like, and it's just pure entertainment, I mean, but it's, uh, I don't, like, I'm so not used to doing things for entertainment, so to, this has just been a phenomenal week, and I know it's going to be an amazing, amazing week, um, because skiing is just, oh, the skiing this morning, anyway, so, like, w- what I think is kind of crazy is, I saw this study, and it said that, like, more people die of, like, stress or anxiety or, or heart attack, more people die of heart attacks on Monday at 8 in the morning, or 9 in the morning, than any other time ever in the united states and i think it's so crazy so bizarre that you know so many people are going through their lives picking careers and going down career paths that literally cause them to despise what they're doing to the extent that they will fundamentally destroy their body so that they won't have to go do something that they hate and i think it just sucks 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 so ridiculous um the, the, like with the time that people have a lot of times you have them trading it off for things that maybe aren't going to bring optimal value so for instance like um say it's, it's like this group ski trip right now and then we're going to the alps and so like right now um same with a, a bunch of guys from tech which is like ridiculously fun and so like i'm on you know my my super awesome like for uh potty diet so like you know, I'm just eating, like, I've got, like, like 13 cans of food, you know, sitting next to my bed. And it's just, like, beans and spinach and, and an insane amount of protein powder. Um, and hopefully, like, salsa and eggs and stuff like that. And so, like, for me, like, I'm eating, like, six meals a day. And I'm it's just phenomenal. Like, so good. Like, if you guys want to get better at any kind of sports, like, the first thing you can do is just eat more of, like, the right things. And because, like, all the top athletes I know are constantly snacking and constantly eating like really really high quality proteins and fats um some of the cross country guys they they eat carbs but mostly it's protein and fats um especially if you want to get big because anyway anyway that's a tangent but like so so i've already eaten right and so these guys are like hey do you want to come to dinner with us um to some random place and i'm like honestly 
like, I've got two options here, right? The first option is to watch this movie, which is going to make me ridiculously happy. And the second option is to sort of go, you know, and, and have dinner with these guys. And I'll probably have dinner with them another time this week um, for sure. But, like, I mean, like, I'm never going to see these guys again. And, you know, it, it's like it wouldn't have brought that much joy to me. And I really thought about it. And, you know, I'm not saying, like, dig- social relations because that's, like, so critical, so foundational. I remember um, yesterday we were sort of taking this big bus from the airport to um, – you know, the resort, and we stopped for about an hour, and when we stopped, like, every, it was hilarious, like, we stopped at this shopping mall, and a lot of the guys on the trip are, I mean, a vast majority of them are, like, you know, graduates or seniors or alumni, and so because of that, like, everyone just instantly booked it to the liquor store, and they're just, I mean, oh my god, so much liquor, um, but, like, I was just, like, reading, and I wasn't really hungry, so I didn't want to eat, and I was doing, like, a one-day fast, so anyway, um, cause you got to do that stuff. You got to cleanse if you want to prepare for some extreme sports <laughs> because uh, we're crushing it here. It's phenomenal. There's so much powder. Um, but anyway, I come to the front of the bus and, and I sit now and I, I'm the only guy there and I start talking to the guy who's driving the bus and I learned that he like was in the Marines for four years and all he did in the Marines was drive people around and, and drive crews and drive, um, fleet and he would drive, uh, fueling trucks and all he did was drive and drive and drive and he got out of the military and all he did was continue driving commercially and for 20 years he's been driving over a hundred thousand miles a year about 200 days out of the year and i just like thought that was insane so crazy and it was ridiculously valuable and interesting and cool to see how you know his experiences had guided him to where he was at the time and how he actually got to being like such a high level driver and oh my god so many interesting conversations and a lot of really great principles about you know finding something that you really love in your core belief and something that brings you happiness not anxiety because for him he loved driving he absolutely loved it that's why he did it so 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 much this guy's like 50 years old and i don't know if he's 50 but um his name is john which is kind of cool um and and so like you you've got to find something that you love like for me, you know, I hate missing nine to noon work days, which I will definitely do over ski because ski comes. Ski is like ah, oh, so good. I will, I will miss a trading day to ski. Um, <laughs> um, but like for me, like every work day, I am so excited, so pumped, and and just love, 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 love getting ready to trade and trading. And for me, it's like such a, a it's just so much fun. And so like, you've got to, got to, got to find something that you love or learn to love something. Because when I started off, like I didn't start off loving to trade. Like I didn't really like even think that much about it. I was just like, oh, this is a way, you know, you can make money and you can have control of your financial future, right? And, and really take your, um, your investments and your assets and your bank account into your own hands instead of having to rely on somebody else instead of being trapped you know working double shifts open to close alone like working my ass off and getting no respect for it. um no collaboration no growth no development i mean it was just trapped and i had to i really really wanted to find something that would give me scalable growth and and after about a year of just trading and trading and trading and trading that's when i finally learned to love it and now like i i just couldn't imagine going without it it's so fun and so it's it's so critical that like you have things that you love um and, and can build those passions but that's not the point what i want to focus on today is i want to focus on like getting the most happiness you can out of your life by doing the couple of things that are gonna make you the happiest so for me like today you know, watching this movie would it may be like ten thousand times happier than I would have, you know, going out to some group dinner and and just talking about like junk and nothing for, you know, an hour and a half. Like that's basically in my book. Like I don't know, it's just not a, it's not very interesting. Um, I love these guys, but half of them are just smoking weed all day, um, and then they're ha- and then they're all drinking, and it's just like uh, it's just not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um how to put it because it's tough because everybody has value like that guy on the bus like i'm never gonna see him again in my life but it was so 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 nice to learn about his history and his background and understand where he's coming from um i was talking to some guys on a lift today and it was just ridiculously cool to kind of hear where they're coming from and where they're going and i met this one guy who's like a theater major and so like I, i guarantee you guys if you just start asking about people like you will find insanely valuable super super cool things you would never have guessed and so like 
definitely there there are times when like all I want to do is is connect with people, but you have to like sort of you know parse out your time, right? So for me, like you know, if it's only a couple hours left, and I really want to watch this movie more than anything else. Like that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna waste my time doing things that I don't want to because at the end of the day, you have control over your life. You know, no one's holding a gun to your head and and saying, look, you've got to go to dinner here. Or, um, you know, you've got to go to work at this bank or, or whatever or do something you're not a fan of. Like, you have control, you know? And so all it takes is a simple decision to do what's going to bring you the most joy. Now, for some people, that's, I don't know, like bowling or, um, you know, I know a lot of guys that like to go to gun ranges. And it's, it's just whatever it is that you're really, really passionate about, try to figure out a way that you could do more of it. And sometimes the best way to figure out how to make time to do more of something you love is to stop doing things that you don't really like that much or they're just kind of mediocre events in your life. And the moment that you cut out things that are mediocre, the things that are bad, and you only focus on doing the things that are awesome, what you're going to find is you're going to get way more fulfillment, way more happiness, way more development, way more growth, and you're going to be contributing maybe half the time to do it. You know, it doesn't take an entire week to watch a movie, right? But if I go to dinner every single day, five days a week, like that's the equivalent of watching the entire Fast and Furious lineup, sort of, kind of. I guess it depends on how long the dinners are. But you see the point, right? The point is you get more out of your time with less time by simply focusing on the top attributes that are really going to impact you. That's the goal, and that's the foundation. And so I challenge you to start saying no more because you look at some of the most successful people on the planet, what do they have to do more than anybody else? They have to say no. You know, if they, um, you know, like if someone, if a CEO of a company, um, has dinner with every single person that has to have dinner with him, he's going to have like 14 dinners a day, every single day, consecutively for the rest of his life. Like it's just not going to happen. And so, I mean, you look at some of the best venture capitalists, some of the best investors on this planet, um, like myself included, I'll scan through hundreds, if not thousands of stocks before I make an investment. And so, like, you have to say no to a vast majority of the deals that cross your desk. You have to say no to a vast majority of the people that ask for your time. You have to say no. Um, I mean, even if you're, you're holding a conference and you have a thousand people there and they all want one minute of your time, like, that's not physically possible. And so you've got to get used to saying no to things that are, like, mediocre opportunities and exclusively focus on the top things that come your way. As soon as you do that, you're going to get so much more scale, so much more growth, and, and so much more leverage out of your time while using less of it, which is just insanely powerful. So I hope he's got a ton of value out of this podcast. Go out there, apply it, absolutely crush it, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye. Want more stock market secrets? If so, you'll get your free copy of my best-selling book, 9 to Noon. You get your free copy plus $11,176 of unannounced bonuses. It took me years to uncover completely for free at 9toNoonSecrets.com. Inside 9 to Noon, you'll find the top 38 secrets you can use to double your portfolio every two years and make upwards of 10% daily.